gay. Gay, gay, gay. Oh god, this game is so gay! And welcome to case 2-3 of the Ace Attorney game, Justin for All. Justin for All? Justice for All. As I said in the previous video, this is the case that most people call the worst case in the Phoenix Wright trilogy. I personally think the case is okay. It's... it's weak. But I can overall see why people think it's incredibly bad. None of the characters we find here are gonna be all that interesting or... not annoying. Because most people, you know, they say that since this is gonna take place or we're gonna encounter a lot of circus people, you'd think a lot of those people would be funny. But they're not. A lot of people think they're just annoying and I kinda have to agree with them. Also, this is another case where we are not allowed to... press on certain statements when talking to one witness, otherwise we're gonna lose life. And a lot of people hate that part. I might... I might use a cheat code to get unlimited life for that part, just so I can do my usual pressing on everything, because maybe there's something funny in there. Maybe there isn't. There we go, the video just did something really strange. It not just froze the video, but it also seemed to say that it stopped recording. But whatever, that doesn't happen anymore. Which is good. I personally do not remember the last time I went to a circus. I think it was sort of entertaining. Yes, this is the one thing that I heavily dislike about Pearl. She has this fairy tale idea of romance. It's kind of cute, but her constant Maya slash Mick Nick thing is kind of annoying to people like me who do not ship those two. I do not ship them. And not because I think Phoenix is as gay as Edward is Karat. But most because I just don't ship them. And the other thing is something that will happen later on, I think, where she slaps Phoenix if she thinks he's cheating on Maya simply because he's looking at another woman. Can somebody tell me if Pearl's fairy tale idea of romance got a bit reduced in Dual Destinies? Because she does have a cameo for the pure sake of the Pearl fans in that game. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. You know, I think the last time I cleaned my room or changed the bedspread was on... was around New Year's, but it was already in 2014. So, I don't know, does that count? 
the office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? My dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. I forget the Japanese name, but I'm pretty sure this is a joke on the Japanese pronunciation of very and berry being pretty much very similar to identical, so this is technically the very big circus. But whatever. The very big circus has become the center of a sensational murder! Of course. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The ve- I mean, the very big circus. That's the circus we went to, right? I don't know, do you remember it? You were there! They're saying that there was a... murder. No freaking shit. A arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max's. Alright, Nick. I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Uh, what? See you there! You've still got plenty of time to clean up your office later! What?! By the way, am I the only person who wants to call him Maximilian Pegasus? Whatever, he's mostly gonna be called Max. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning this place up. He's already clearing the air for you, you ass. He's doing his job. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recent, it had been a normal business-class hotel. So they bothered to change the title for Charlie, the text, but not for the Gatewater Hotel. Then again, Charlie is more important. Difficult-looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I wouldn't mind dumping some of these off at the used bookstore. But that might not be such a good idea. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Is Edgeworth back? Welcome to the visitor's room! I'm too amazed at looking at his hair. It's... It's worse than I remember. And I recently saw a sprite in a Phoenix Wrong video. It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. He, he got me, sweetie! Nick! Haha, <laughs> time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one! How the hell is she picking a card? And how does he know she's picking the right one? If there is glass between them. Far as we can see here, there is no hand me through holes there or anything like that. Unless it's at crotch level, then. I know what Phoenix was doing there when Edgeworth was in jail. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts! <gasps> he got it! He got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? 
You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max! Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let me pick a card! Ugh. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. I already have Edgeworths. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Well, I do like to pile drive a screwdriver into her. That sounded wrong. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes! I'm your biggest fan! Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. I feel like calling you Zealous. Not Zealous, Zealous. You know, the pink-haired guy from Tales of Symphonia. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Really, I was more hoping that it would fall on me and crush us. Preferably him. Sweetie, drop porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Look, I don't want to know what you do Friday nights, okay? Bad enough they have to do that in my Slave Maker game. Ugh, hate that part. Then again, whatever. It's a fun game. Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time! Max, you're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little overanxious, I think. Hmm. What about this? Fabulous! You'd like me to sign this for you? <sighs> so, would you like to come up on stage with me sometime? R really Is that really okay? I'll bring you up on stage as a volunteer from the audience. Really? I'll give you something before the show, and then on stage, you'll sneak it to me. Wait a second. He's planting in the audience to rig a magic trick! Do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice. But really, is this the proper time or place for this? What the hell do you do when you look at yourself? Oh god, I don't want to know. He's signed his own photo. Through the glass? You mind giving that to me when the case is over? Fine, I'll talk to him. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Gibus! What in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear! What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight! Straight is not a word in Phoenix's dictionary. He may use the word, but he doesn't know what it means. Jeez, people nowadays. They get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous war of magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab... I mean, it was an amazing day. 
Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. You are assigned to an exclusive contract with the Barry Big Circus, correct? Over the course of the case, I'm probably gonna end up sounding like, or actually really saying Very Big Circus, but... Who gives a shit? It's obviously the joke there. That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right! You're so right! However, the circus... It's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. I don't know about your world, but I still see posters for the circus, and they probably wouldn't be advertising if they weren't doing well. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete! But I kinda like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Thank God. I hate it when she's overzealous. And not because I have to voice her. Ah, uh, last night. The Ringmaster was murdered. The Ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the Rainmaster before he was murdered. I saw him that night, in his room. Ew. So, then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult me with... What the hell? Fuck what he says. He's not important. I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the Ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the Ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing out all the crowds to the circus. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat. Oh my god, he's not wearing pants! Ew! Fabulous! Why does he have to keep saying fabulous? You think fabulous is the reason why the locks appeared? Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? B because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the famous Maximilian Galactica. I almost called him Maximilian Pegasus. So? I'm the very big star of the Berry Big Circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max? 
Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. I do not want to touch your magic wand, believe me. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Of course they do, which is why you actually have a job in this world. Otherwise you'd be bumming around. And as Apollo Justice proves, that's exactly what you do. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um, yes. Perky, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please help me, I didn't kill nobody! I didn't kill anybody. Didn't kill nobody means double negative, means you killed somebody. Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? <laughs> That's insane! I, I, I could never! Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt! He's back on the farm! Okay, okay. I'll take your case. Really? Really. <laughs> Thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Bella Bob Jones. Uh. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. <laughs> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Uh, not that you mentioned it. I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Well, how did... He got it right again! What can I say? You, too, stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts! You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Haha! <laughs> I am putting my faith in you, sweetie. Did you just call him sweetie? He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright! Let's make this an absolutely fabulous case! Come on, Nick! We're here again? Yep, but this time we are here for work. Hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Nick, the entrance is right there. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that! Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. The elephant is a lie, bitch! Oh well, I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. <sighs> it's not like we're here on business or anything. Look! Look, it's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Poof. <laughs> sure, the sign says Barry Big Circus, but looking around, might as well be Cirque du Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star in your Nick cheek, Nick? I've got a marker! You keep your hands off his cheek. There's already his tattoo on it, and by that I mean Edward's name. Or di did you mean a face cheek? In which case, still stay away from me. Nah, nah, it's alright. This door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? 
I am not even going to justify the question with a response. I bet all of the stars stay at the lodging house. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn! They've even got snow cones! Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Shut up, it's actually very nice. I think I feel more like eating ice cream in winter than I do in summer. Nick, do you think we can buy some of the snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a s There's no syrup, though! I want syrup! Eat the yellow snow. Oh, let her eat it. I'm sure it'll taste very nice. You know, protein and all that stuff in it. By the way, I know I've played this case like a year ago, but I don't really remember where I have to go exactly. Wow! This is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults! I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Nick? Wasn't me. I only purr in edge world around! T -t 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 tiger <laughs> He's going this way! Nick, you're too young to die! Stay! Heal! I'm still here. I'm not dead yet! Nick! Nick, are you okay? This is the girl that I see a lot of people get incredibly angry at, or at least they instantly suspected her because of her personality and her actions and talk. I find her okay. She's kind of... supreme airhead. If I had to name an official voice actress for her, I'd probably go for... I forget her the name. The woman who voice missed in Rune Factory Frontier. The one where the voice director said, think brain damage. Lots and lots of brain damage. So anyway, I think her voice is gonna hurt me a bit because it's very high. What's the matter? You too sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, he almost died there. He wasn't going any close to getting hurt, let alone dying! This old tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky! Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? <laughs> Your costume! Huh? It's cute! I wanna try it on! C costume You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Um, I guess not. Really? You're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name is Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really do look odd. Nice to meet ya. Likewise. Her voice already hurts me. I hate it. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. 
Does that mean she's a lesbian? Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Alright, I look so cute in this picture. Don't you think I look cute, don't you, don't you? You sure do! No objections there! It's Max! Where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Like what? <laughs> that certainly answered my question. Maya, you're a spinner channeler? Yep. I'm still training, though. I thought last... I thought in the last case she was said to have fully finished her training. That sounds like fun. I think you should join us at the circus. Huh? As a spirit channeler? Yeah, it'd be a big hit. Really? She says I'd be a big hit. I think she's just being nice. Hey Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. Oh, that was insensitive. That's right. The ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent... Ah, oh, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone who's... Who S E, not who apostrophe S. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. Stop looking at her boobs. Oh god, you would never even look at her boobs. You're a phoenix. It's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. I agree. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the lion. Leon the lion. Regent and Regina? Interesting name choices. Shut up, bird. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough to not get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Quite frankly, her sparkling hurts me. Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'm telling you, Maya. But just you. Oh. Um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And <laughs> then... You did what with your cane and the what now? Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P -p -p professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. 
I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well! What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm. Huh. Haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. I knew it. Her sparkles are the reason for it. Oh, they burn. It's a walrus. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Huh. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Bye! This was the ringmaster's room? Yeah, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention that, that is what he said. I wonder what... That's an interesting poster. <gasps> it's a poster of Max! I want it, I want it, Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. An autopsy report? It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician... The salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th that much?! Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper you used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters, they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one. Oh, she already swiped one. Hmm. <laughs> You're incorrigible, aren't you? Gay. Nick, look at all the cute trophies! Indeed. Just look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association, mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce champ, pet grooming ground pre... Wow. The ringmaster was multi-talented in a way that I could never have imagined. You may not know this, but they call this a tail coat. No fucking shit. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. Huh. What? A scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. I very well could have said that that's a handkerchief. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Oh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. I remember clicking this thing several, several times at various intervals. I think I have to be at an exact point to actually finally take that thing out. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it's 100% all-natural organic mascara. 
And this one says sunset enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. What? The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skin care. Very metrosexual. I guess there's nothing else to find here. I still preferred the merry-go-round music in Roller Coaster Tycoon. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So that stoogy clown should be here too, huh? He's so kooky! Oh, Detective Gumshoe! I always see you hanging around when I'm working a crime scene, pal. You always seem to be working so hard, Detective. I'd rather not be working hard, but with crime you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick! Nick, he complained! So? <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Come on. You flashed that badge at me so many times, it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and then? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me. How about that one? I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai Police badge. If Edgeworth gives him one, I'm sure he'll do it. Then it's a deal. I hear the Detective Gumshoe has that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. You know I can't tell you two anything about the evidence we have gathered. Stingy! Stingy? When you put it so bluntly, it kinda hurts my feelings, pal. Blame her. Actually... It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal! It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, Prel. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trays marked. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classy decorative element. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they are mundane? At least they're easy to understand! I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? T tell us about the eyewitness! I've gotten if adapts from most of the performers at the circus. They are certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say... Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. I I'm sorry. I was just messing around. Strange that he doesn't have anything to say about the victim. I'm making a really strange, tired-looking face here. Are you sure you weren't born looking like that? Uh, I wish I was more lively. Right now, I'm just tired. Well, there's not much you can do about that, so you just gotta keep on being tired! You're right! Glad I stayed out of that one. Being a spirit medium is quite an accomplishment. And you're so young too. That's really something. Actually, I've been thinking of taking a break from channeling. Really? 
I don't want to have another incident like last time. Of course, it'll be most fun karma. Ugh. She isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the present, the sound of the whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshu, that's enough about Von Kama. What about that guy? What is he up to? That guy? What happened to Edgeworth? You know, the Edgeworth that's next rival! And as my husband told me last time, I forgot to point out he's the not-so-secret lover. So yes, he's the rival and the not-so-secret lover. What in the world happened when I went back home? M Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him. Nick won't tell me! Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Why is Phoenix not interrupting Maya immediately? Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around?! Nick! What does it mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around?! Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? You know, I can tell you guys one thing. If Edgeworth doesn't appear soon, I'm gonna give up on this game. He's the sole reason why I actually really pay some attention. Which is a problem I have with the Apollo game. No, Edgeworth, I had very... I had a ton of difficulty actually caring about any of the cases. Yeah, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. Riveting comet, Maya. Riveting. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where we are standing now. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing! Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Eep. It's pretty clear-cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Heh! <laughs> There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining now. And... and... What is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo. Maybe they hit him from behind and were stepping into his footprints? Where did the killer come from and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying criminal? That's when something just clicked in my head. There's no way! Flying is impossible! I mean, we live in a world here where spirit channeling is possible, but flying is just too out of the left field. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. How about any eyewitnesses? Haha, oh, 
you know, I'm gonna t tell you that. That's the prosecution, it's trump card. Oh, uh, oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, uh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because there's an eyewitness inside that lodging house. Let's check it out. Oh no, you don't, pal. Fine, I won't. He didn't stop me. This is it. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow. It's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Uh... Well, I don't have a bicycle lying around. Or a unicycle. I do have a fan lying around. I guess it's about even. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got! It's incredible! It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. <gasps> I almost forgot! What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collector myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. What do you mean, our office? God, this is how it starts. First it's our office, then it's our house, then it's our baby suddenly. I don't remember anything about the baby. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. See, Phoenix is on my side. Awesome! Look at the shoes! They're great! Forget the shoes! Check out the great gag banana peel! You sure it wasn't most snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. Oh. What the? There's a string of carrots here! How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. Maybe it's Moe's clown version of those little smiley ghost face thingies that you hang in your window to keep the rain away? I can't tell if Moe just likes carrot if he's using for some sort of gag. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's using them for a gag! Ew. Look at the ceiling. Looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Neither do I. Ew. <laughs> Clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle. He's even got a trampoline, which is broken. I'm gonna say that it looks like a hymen. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice? Who knows with that guy. Maybe that's part of the gag? Nick, you can see the scene of crime from here. You can even tell that the ground has been disturbed. It's right in front of this window, about 30 feet away. I guess it wouldn't have been strange for someone to have seen the crime from here.